This is the next video in my series about Adobe Captivate Update 2. Uh, today we're going to be talking about interactive video. So I have a sample project up on my screen right now. And uh, there are several ways that you can do interactive video today. First of all, you can use a video that's located on your computer. Now the downside of using a file that you have on your computer is that you're going to increase your e-learning project by the size of that video. So uh, if it's a particularly large video, it may not be ideal for your particular circumstances. The alternative that is available prior to update two is that you can use a YouTube video. And first of all, let me show you what that process is like here. I'm gonna select this uh, link to one of my YouTube videos that I have, and we're gonna click on interactive video. We'll choose YouTube and we'll paste it into the URL here. Uh, optionally, you could select um, alternate start and end times if you wish, but I'm gonna go with just the video itself here. Now, YouTube is fine, but again, the goal of YouTube is to keep you on their channel, to advertise other videos, and this can be a bit of a distraction to your learners. You can see here right off the bat, because I do monetize my videos, uh, you'll see, of course, all this advertising stuff for my other videos that, gonna, that are going to show up as its own overlay on top of this video. Um, this won't show during the playing of the video, but once you receive, once you get to the end of the video, you're going to see these more video links, and you know this uh, this could be a distraction to your to to your viewers to your learners. Um, so let's delete this slide here and take a look at the new option that's available um, with the release of Adobe Captivate 2019 Update Two you can actually now add Vimeo videos and you can still do the same thing with custom start and end times. But the advantage of a Vimeo video is that it's not so much about monetization. It's not so much about advertising other videos and advertising uh, in general. It's a much more clean video distribution service. So. Uh, in this case here, you're still going to be able to recognize that it is Vimeo, but you can see clearly that, you know, there's going to be less obstructive stuff here. So I've added this particular video here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go so far as to add some, um, some uh, bookmarks and overlays to show you how it works with, of course, interactive video. Uh, the idea with interactive video is that you can select a location on your timeline, add a bookmark and then uh, find another spot on your slide here in this case here we'll go 42 point well we'll go 42 that's fine and i can now add an overlay slide the making of course a video something that your users can interact with so here i have a knowledge check here i'm going to insert that at this point on the slide you'll notice that the Knowledge check becomes an overlay slide because, of course, it shrinks a little bit in size. It will jump up next to the video that it's it's going to overlay for, and you'll see uh, this icon here. Now I'm going to go to my knowledge check slide and just do a couple of small things here. Uh, first thing is um, we have uh, one attempt. Failure message is one. Um, but I just need to make sure the success and failure actions are appropriate. So on success, it's continue, which is fine. Last attempt when they've exhausted their attempts, uh, which is just one in this case here, I'm going to do remediation. So I'm going to jump to bookmark and I labeled that. Oh, I guess I didn't label it properly. Bookmark one and we can continue playing the project from there. Let's do a preview of what Vimeo interactive video looks like. So one of the things that I noticed right off the bat is the, the quality of the video looks great. There's a couple of moments because it is of course uh, streaming from the internet that it's a little fuzzy at the beginning, but right now it's uh, crystal clear. Uh, of course, uh, it's a little bit easier in this case. Now my overlay slide shows up. If I get this wrong, let's say, let's choose a wrong answer here and hit submit. Uh, I get the incorrect message, and of course I can click anywhere 
to be brought back to the beginning of the video again where I can review what it was I should have learned before. But I'm pretty happy with this. In fact, there's very little, uh, there's nothing on the screen to indicate that uh, I'm looking at a Vimeo video or a local video or anything like that. So a really welcome addition to Adobe Captivate. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.